My name is Mary, my Chinese name is Malia, and I come from the very heart of Russia, from Moscow. This is my second year in China, and I study at Beida, I study international relations. This year I have a perfect opportunity to celebrate the Chinese New Year, how they call it, Spring Festival, here in Sichuan, in Zigong, where people make festival lanterns. There are a lot of decorations in different shapes and different colors. So it puts you in a very romantic way. It feels like in a fairy tale. Hello 花灯又叫灯笼正月十五点花灯这样一个雏形还好了现在的灯来我主要是把这个三个自动的小三件 Today I had a wonderful opportunity to make my festival lantern with my own hands. Actually making festival lantern is not that hard as I thought. You just have to be really patient and have good teachers. So I had both. 对了，很开心。还有几个，是吗？The process has four main stages. During the first stage, you actually have nothing, just very thin metal sticks, and you have to bend them. It depends on the shape of the lantern that you want to make. Okay.现在我们请我们的汉工师傅帮我们焊一下。好的。你看上去很容易,是吧?其实这个是很好手艺的。它在整个掌握,它的造型的结构一定要符合图纸的要求。During the second stage, you have already prepared, you know, the shape of your future lantern. So you have to put all these details together, so to make it a whole one lantern, so you use a very big a uh, device that I have never actually seen in my life uh, and it's actually it's hard and it's very uh, the most important stage in the whole process. During the third stage you already have the shape of your future lantern and you start kind of decorating that. So you use glue, you apply it on the whole of your festival lantern and then you wrap the silk around. Now 
So you take cloth, usually it is silk, traditionally it is red, but you can also use white, yellow, you can use blue, you can also mix colors if you want. This is actually not uh, difficult, you just have to be very accurate and very patient. And the fourth stage, that's my favorite, this is all about decorating. Traditionally, festival lanterns have six sides. You have to make three sides to draw characters, and on the other three sides, uh, Chinese traditionally draw bamboo or some flowers. So I prepared traditional Russian drawing that we used out during celebration of Easter. At the same time, by the way, that when Chinese celebrate uh, Chinese New Year, we celebrate our Easter. What a coincidence. This was actually the, the second time when I was using Chinese brush to do that. You have to be really, really accurate with that and take your time. You have to do it with your, with your heart, how Chinese say, to make it uh, really beautiful. So these are the four main stages of how you have to do Chinese lantern. It was such an honor to get to know Hu Lao Shi that taught me how to do festival lanterns today. She is a really amazing old lady. She loves her job. She's so lively and uh, she's so uh, happy with her own life. And I really hope that when I reach her age, I will be the same. Well,今年已经七十七岁了，我都一直坚持做，因为我喜欢这个工作。第二个叫我去搞房地产啊，搞什么诗人、画师头啊，什么等等都接受过工作，但是我都不接受，因为我对我对那个诗人外行，我要做
I'm such a happy person that I got an opportunity to come to Zugong and experience the local culture in the very high where people make festival lanterns. This is a very special city and it has a lot of culture. Such a small city has so much culture. Unbelievable. But most of people do not even know that Zugong exists. People usually go traveling. If they go to China, they go to Beijing, they go to Shanghai. And actually, the process of making traditional festival lanterns has a history of more than 2,000 years and it has not changed since that time. So if you really want to touch the history, to learn it and to feel it, you should come to Zugong.